I drove four hours to get here, fished for an hour and a half, caught fish the whole time. It was, it was crazy. Just got into Virginia and I'm actually headed from my house in East Tennessee, Southern East Tennessee, all the way up heading to Pennsylvania. But there's a place that I fished two years ago, I think it was, in Virginia that I'm an hour and a half from today. I'm hoping I can get still access to it. I just pulled off on the side of the road, found this little creek, and I caught some really good smallmouth out of it. So I'm kind of excited. So we're gonna head there right now and I'm hopefully I can get access to it and hopefully we can catch some smallmouth. Oh, this looks awesome. There's some little fish just swimming around. This water is so clear. Oh, there's a little small he went through right there. Man, we got down here. Looks, I don't see any no trespassing signs, just like last time. Got this wide creek channel. And uh, I caught some really good smallmouth out of here last time. So I gotta, guess what we're starting out with? An obsidian Nico Helgramite. I do have a couple other lures, but I think this was gonna get some stuff, get some fish caught. Oh, we got a little one. Yeah. There's our first bite, it was a little, a little smaller. All right, it's three o'clock. It's crazy how the lighting changes so much once you get to October, because the sun's gonna be going down pretty soon. There's fish on. These fish ought to be eating in here though. And we're gonna start out with a rock bass. I'll take it. Good chunky rock bass. This uh, water's really clear. It's got a, but it's got good flow to it. I thought it might be more um, lower and like not much flow, but we got some solid flow. We got a good amount of water. It's a pretty good sized stream. Yep, little guy right there. Watch them nibble on it, another rock bass. Watch them nibble on it for a minute and then ate it. Those rock bass are thick ones though. All right, we ought to be getting up. There ought to be something hungry around here. Somewhere. What was that? Hey, there's our first smallie landed, a tiny one. I think they're still in this fast current. In another month or probably about another month, they'll uh, they'll kind of move out of this shallow water into the deeper pockets. But right now, it hasn't got cold enough yet. They should still be in some shallow water. All right, let's see uh, if they're in this current like I think they're gonna be. Let's fish below this little uh, spillway. And then I think I went above this last time I caught a few. I can't tell if it's all man-made or maybe could be some of it natural, I'm not sure. There's one, a little smallie. There's a good population of little ones in here. I'm ready for the, they're, I'm gonna try to catch little ones, but I'm gonna be ready, hopefully ready for that big one. Cause there's, there's gonna be a big one that thumps it. That'll surprise us. Kind of sink it in here below these um, little water drops. There's, pretty deep down in there. There could be anything sitting down in there below it. Just waiting for a bait fish or a crawdad or something to get swept over. Or a Helgramite. It's swept over and he's just gonna pick it up. A couple, few hours before dark. But also, <laughs> I think they're just small. Also, there's, uh, there's a couple more areas in this creek I wanna hit. Oh, got that one. Oh, he's a little better. 
That's not a bad creek fish. Dick. Pretty fish too, very pretty. Oh, solid guy. Oh, like that right there. Nice. Uh oh. He was in there. There's probably all kinds of fish in there. Hey, there we go. Ah, I get the little one. Oh, what did he throw up? He threw something out of him, a big long, uh, looked like a worm. I kind of, I kind of think it was a, uh, a, a, um, like a soft plastic. All right, a few more cats here and we'll move on. I know there's fish down in there, but we got a lot more ground to cover if we want to. We can cover a lot more water. All right, look at this. What a log jam. That's a lot of debris. I, want, I wonder why those blocks, those um, rocks are there, those things like that. Are they for stopping stuff like this? But look how flat it opens up up here. And it looks deep over there on that, that ledge. Oh, oh, I see a follower. Did he take it? Did he take it? Yeah. It's not a big one, but I saw him come up and get it. Thought he was a little bit bigger than that at first. There's a buddy of his came up with him. I'll take him. 11, 12 incher, but pretty thick. These guys are just like, they feel thicker overall. Like their mouths are thick, everything's thick about them. Got a couple parasites on him. <gasps> holy cow, holy cow. Dude, that was a giant. I saw him come out and hit my lure. Why didn't he eat it? Dude, oh my goodness. He nibbled at it again. There's two or three there. One of them was a huge one. And of course that little guy eats it. No, I don't want you to eat it, don't want you. Oh, there's several of them right there, come on. They won't eat it. They're like just, they just nibbed it, nibbled it, and they're right on it though. Those aren't the big ones. The little ones are ones following. Man, there was a big one in there. I saw him come and bite at it. You gotta get them to just eat it, not just come out and taste it. Come on. There's too many fish there not to get one of those. Got him. Oh, not the giant. There's a good one. There were some bigger ones in there with them. That's cool right there. Oh, that's nice though. That's nice. We're getting a little bit more beefed up. Yeah, at least a 13 incher. There was a group of them right there. There was, there was a whole pack of them. Oh, I see them right there in front of me. Oh, they, they moved a little closer. I doubt they're gonna bite now, but. Uh, oh, oh, I got a looker, I got a looker. Oh, he turned away. There could easily be a two or three pounder in one of these holes. Oh, oh, that guy had it. He had, had it for a minute, I guess. I never felt him bite. The dark little small. Oh, oh, I gotta. What? Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a pretty good one. That's a good one for today. Nice.
Come here. Come here. That's a thicken. That's a that, uh, that's a good one. We're calling that a good fish right there. Yes, sir. Ah, it's at least a 15 incher. Look how wide that body is on him. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at the colors on this fish. Man, he is gorgeous. Oh, and that's a, a 15 incher probably. I know there's bigger ones than that, but that's a that's a really good fish. But how wide he is, I'm surprised he's that wide. Oh, look how that looks. That's cool. Yeah, go on back over here. Your little hole you're in. Man, how many more are in here? This kind of fishing right here ruins me. <laughs> and it, it's, when I go back to my house, or, or you know, within that place is within an hour of me, I gotta fish hours to have a day a lot of times like this. Plus, I don't have that many small, I can't go to that many creeks that are like just straight up smallmouth. And I've been here 38 minutes. That's all I've been recording. That's from, from the bridge, from parking at the bridge, turning my camera on, walking to here. And I've already had a really good time. We're gonna keep on going up. I think we're just gonna catch fish. Goodness. It's like every other cast, I mean, they got a bite or a hit. Oh, we gotta work our way up to the head of this little pool here. This, this, I think we're gonna catch fish the whole way up because it's got like a, a solid flow of current over there in that deep channel where those fish can just be sitting in there, sitting behind rocks, doing whatever they do. Then lure comes in and boom, they pop out and hit it. Just a little one. Don't even act like you're that big. Oh my goodness, I thought I had. Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, he's not bad. He is not bad. That was actually a good fish. I couldn't tell because I think it was wrapped around a rock. So I don't know if my line's messed up or that, or there was another fish with it that was like pushing on it. I don't know what happened there. It's in a little dark shadow, but dude, this is a good fish. Oh man. Just coming up here and casually catching some 15 inchers in a creek off the side of the interstate, maybe 16 incher. At least 15. Good fish. Holy cow. Look at these guys, they're like thick. That one's not super tall, but it's, it's pretty, they're all like well-rounded. And they, this, they, they're they probably feeding up. And right now is that time where I really love smallmouth fishing, especially these kind of streams. Cause uh, these fish get in here and they just start eating. And that's what they're doing today. They are eating. I've had a few places, a few of them that are peck. And they re, redo my leader just a little bit. I got some nicks right there. Those, uh, that's, that's a second one that's at least a pound. Those are probably a couple of them that are pound and a quarter. And uh, whenever you hook into that three pounder, or maybe even that two pounder, like uh, you gotta just, you don't wanna have any weak spots. Well, let's go over my setup. And this is my favorite finesse fishing setup and my favorite wading bass fishing setup. I got 10 pound fluorocarbon leader line. I got 15 pound braid with about um, probably eight foot of the leader line. This is a 1 15th ounce Z-Man Bullet Z, the Nico Helgramite three inch uh, in obsidian color. This rod is the Shimano Zodius, a 6'9 medium fast action there's a fish right in front of me is that the fish i just caught oh i think that's the one i just caught he's just he's just chilling right in front of me and um this is a shimano uh 
Miraville, 2500 size. And um, this is my favorite way to fish the Huggermite. It's also my favorite rod for fishing, pretty much catching anything really, any kind of bass fishing. Uh, for finesse fishing, other than throwing like big lures. But this throws a, a little light lures pretty good. Also handles good sized fish. I've caught a lot of fish on this setup. And it seems to prove to do pretty well. Oh, I thought he was a big one. He hit that thing as soon as it hit the water. Sometimes those big ones will do that. Let's just boom, he's on it. Let's see what we got over here. Yeah! Oh, solid. Oh, there's a big one behind it. Oh, no, no. There was two of them. <laughs> there was two behind it. Made it look like a huge one. But this is, this is a good fish. I am not disappointed with this guy. Dude, dude, yeah, this might be the fattest one today. Come here. Mm. man these are solid guys just like 14 inch at least and just thick beautiful let's turn around work our way back down to where we started to back down to that last that big drop that we started at That's fine. Yeah. Little fat. That dude had to had a belly on. Mm. I can't get that big one out of there. Still get little ones though. Still consistently biting. I didn't see a big one in there, but I mean I saw some earlier. And I just that kind of hole, you know there's one that lives in there. Cause it's got deep you got current you got big boulders you got everything you need for a big one to live and survive and do well oh uh no they get on the side of the back side of these um rocks and make themselves feel huge well that's a nice rock bass speaking of rock but they get on the backs of these rocks when you hook into them and you feel all this pressure Whatever, man, whatever's in here is eating good. Everything in here has been just thick.
I drove four hours to get here, fished for an hour and a half, and caught fish the whole time. It was it was crazy. I fished two different creeks by me, spent more than four hours in each creek, and could barely catch three or four fish. Is it using the right lure? No. I was using the same lure. It's being in the right spot and using the right lure and being able to know how to fish. It's everything. But if you if I'm fishing a creek and I just you cannot get those fish to bite or there's just not that many fish in there, you're not gonna catch that many fish. So I'm, most of the time you see somebody have a good day of fishing, they're a place where there's a lot of fish. Obviously you gotta be a lot place a lot of fish, but you can learn. So like I use this technique, ooh, it's hard to get around, in a bunch of creeks and I catch a lot of fish doing it. But I but like I said, some creeks, or I've been some places and it doesn't matter. You you just I can't get those fish to bite, so I don't have a lot of creeks like this. This this kind of creek, small river area, has just a huge, enormous population of smallmouth. And I have to drive at least two hours or more to find streams that are kind of like this, and sometimes three or four miles, uh, three or four hours to get to get to areas where you can actually get access to these streams that have a lot. So if you're not catching a lot of fish, it may just be because your area don't have a lot of fish. But if your area you think does have a lot of fish, right now is a time to be getting in those last wading trips um you can all i mean you can fish in the winter too but i'm just talking about getting those like wading trips where i'm in shorts you know and um it's not cold and i'm not you know shivering and uh actually enjoy being in the water so the helgrim i was getting it done today what an awesome little stop and uh some fun fishing